Hello viewer. So today I'm doing just a little bit of a um, if I can extract them. There we go. Just a thing about some um, 3D riveting. Well, 3D riveting and welding. So what I've got is I've got these items here. I just 3D printed them with the uh, holes in them. Um, so the idea here is pretty simple. Is through the hole, I'll inject some 3D plastic using the 3D pen. And what I should obtain once it's hardened is something along the lines of 3D riveting. Um, so if I do the next one. So the first time I just did two holes. This time I'm doing the opposite two holes. Oh, they made it all the way through. Yes. So again, do have to wait for the plastic to dry, uh, to to cool. Um, so I'll just use some snips just to clean the edges up. Haven't tried this before so far, so let's see how well it actually works. But it looks to me like it could be a good way of joining parts that you've 3D printed. Let's say you're building a model or something <clears throat> and you wanted to join the parts together without using glue. This might be quite a good way of doing it. Sure, with practice, I could end up with it looking a bit better than what it is now. Right, so let's get that cool down. So, the other part I was looking at is joining some pieces together in, in the way of sort of like plastic welding um, using the 3D pen. So, hmm. I think I'll probably need to bring the speed down on that one. So let's bring the speed down a bit. Let's see if that gets a better. Yeah, better. Let's do the other side. How low can this thing go? Actually, with the slower speed, <clears throat> it's not actually too bad. I mean, it looks looks not too bad, right? We'll let that cool. Come back to this. So, well, actually, that's got a bit of strength. I'm actually quite surprised. And how strong that is. Actually putting quite a lot of force on that to try and separate it. 
So that's actually bonded really well. Considering I'm pushing on that one, trying to push it apart, it's, this one's only held in by two um, rivets. Um, it's actually come out really strong. And looks like my assistant has joined us. Assistant Frosty. Oh boy. Or girl, I should say. Um, so she likes to get involved with almost anything that's going on. And likes to chew almost anything that's going on. So I'm really, really pleased with that. That's, that's come out really strong. Um, I think that's a good way of joining, you know, a couple of different prints um, without using screws or glue. Uh, let's see how this one's to... Actually, this is coming out nice and strong as well. There we go. I was able to break that one. That took a little bit of force. I mean, you wouldn't... If you just had something you want to join as a model... Um, Frosty, um, that would be a good option. Oh, thank you for bringing it back. This is a constant battle when I'm doing things with the 3D printer. Is Frosty pinching parts, chewing on parts, and jumping on the printer. However. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll wind this one up. So, welding's not quite as strong as the riveting, even though I would say a similar amount of plastic's been used. Um, this one here, um, you know, considering that this part here has only got two thin, thin pieces of plastic joining it together, um, the results are actually quite good. That is very strong very nice so there you go another use for the 3d pen um, I'm finding this thing um, really quite quite a nice tool bearing in mind you know it, only, it was less than $30 NZ including freight so really pleased with it so thank you for watching thank you Frosty for joining in Bye for now.